So um, what we're gonna do right now is pretty much the clean installation that we have to perform right now. So um, first of all, what I wanna point out is that inside this thing, um, you're gonna get three files. And if I'm going to go into my trash right now, you can see those files actually. Just remove those files. You don't, you don't need to care about those files. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into browser and we're gonna uh, look for a magician um, software then load. Just press enter and what you wanna do is click download files. You go all the way down here and you want to select um, Mac OS because I think that's primarily why you open this video. <clears throat> so just press on it, um, continue, continue, just agree on this, go to the installation process. I'm gonna enter my password right now. Okay, um, install software. Just wait for the installation process. You're gonna get prompted several times. And here's the important thing that I wanna show you and I wanna point this thing out. If you go into your privacy and security here, you can see that right now you don't have anything in here. But once you click OK, once you click no here because I'm not in Europe, so I'm going to say no and it's gonna show me a different pop-up window. I'm going to agree on this. I'm going to click OK and see what happens now. As you can see, your, your current security settings prevent the installation of system extensions. If I'm going to restart my computer and once the installation process is done, it's not going to do anything. I mean, I ain't gonna get this SSD, this SSD like visible on that magician app, right? And, and you all know that. You would have not opened this video if you would have not run into the same um, type of problem, right? And so, Essentially what I want to do here is restart restart my computer. I'm um, pretty much we're going to restart it from here. I just click restart button and I'm going to move it to trash right now. Um, but that's all I want. So I'm going to wait until this diode pretty much um, dims and once it dims, I want to I want to hold this button. So let's let's oh, so that happened and now I hold it. And as you can see, it shows continue holding for st startup options. And that's what I'm doing right now. And as you can see, it's loading those startup options. Now you don't want to like unpress it as, as, uh, as soon as it shows it up. Cause I actually, I've tried to do it before and I literally just messed up the whole system. Um, well, there were different reasons for me to mess it up um, that time though, but um, you just don't want to do that. Just make sure you don't do that. Right, we're just waiting. Um, just choose your user, click next, um, enter the password, continue. So you go to the utilities and you go to the startup security utility. You choose this disk, of course, and you uh, click the security policy and I'm pretty much switching back to what I had before now. So you just click OK and you wait. Uh, well, yeah, first of all, just enter your password and now we have to wait. Yeah, anyway, so we got this uh, working and um, let's just uh, restart the computer. Let's go into our system settings and check our privacy and security once again. As you can see, we don't have any um, permission alerts or anything like that in there right now. So I'm going to open this app, and as you can see, I just get, have my uh, you know Apple SSD, right? So um, let me actually take it. Let me switch to ca to the camera and um, take it and actually plug it in. So um, I just take it and I plug it in here. So um, plug it in, just like so. And as you can see here, we have this diode blinking. It's going to appear in here. Let me reload it and see what happens here. So as you can see, it found this um, Samsung portable SSD now. Um, and before I couldn't do that, right? And I got this 27 Celsius, whatever. It will ask you for the, um, for the permission. I think I've given this permission before when I actually made it work, right? Now, but pretty much what you want to do is you want to go, so you're going to have here like um, on here, you're gonna have um, encrypted drive. Now, the reason why I don't have it right now is because previously I actually clicked it and I said, no, I don't, have, I don't wanna have it. And I kind of disabled it. So uh, if you're in the same kind of situation, which you are not, I'm pretty sure, um, you, for you, you just click this encrypted drive and you're gonna see this window that I'm gonna show you right now. Um, I can, security settings, yes. And so once I click it and you're gonna see the exact same windows. Stick with my previous security. 
um, thing. So I'm going to complete it for now. And um, as you can see, I have now my password in here. Okay, let's actually try um, transferring a file, just any file. Um, let's see, we're gonna transfer this config in here. I'm going to right now um, eject it. And let's actually exit this guy for now. Let me press OK. So we stopped that guy and now I'm going to basically unplug it. Okay, just unplugged it and I'm going to plug it back in. Just did that. I'm going to allow it. And if I go into Finder, the first thing it does ask me is the password. This thing does ask me for the password. And as you can see, um, as you can see, there is, uh, there is now that config file in there. And so if I now enter my password and unlock it, here's what happens. I can now actually access my config.zip file.